30 years ago, scientific breakthroughs led to the eradication of smallpox. Today, we have real hope that another disease, lymphatic filariasis or elephantiasis, will be consigned to the history books. A parasitic infection affecting 120 million people in over 80 countries around the world. Not life-threatening, but disabling and devastating, trapping those afflicted in poverty. Ten years ago, President Carter was the catalyst for our involvement in the program to eliminate lymphatic filariasis. Since then, we have been working with our partners in the Global Alliance. Recognized as a model of international collaboration, the LF Elimination Program uses a combination of two antiparasitic drugs, one of which is albendazole, donated by GlaxoSmithKline. They are given just once a year to everyone in the at-risk area for a minimum of five years to stop the transmission of LF. This month, we pass a milestone as the billionth tablet is delivered to Tanzania. A recent landmark study published in the journal Public Library of Science confirms that real progress has been made toward our goal. Panther pig does feel oily. Now, there's nothing in this product literature that suggests it's dangerous to touch, but there is a warning against its coming into contact with plastic and a strong recommendation to inject it using a glass syringe. We wanted to find out just how corrosive Pantope can be. So we poured some on a plastic cup and waited. As this time-lapse photography shows, it didn't take long for it to start to disintegrate. And within six hours, the dye has eaten right through the bottom of the cup. In fact, 13 years old, a promising math student, she stopped going to school because the teasing from others became too much for her to bear. Difficult to find suitors, she never married and now runs a family house for her nephew and his wife, but even that proves difficult. She says she has missed everything in life. There are countless stories like these throughout India, which is exactly the reason why we are renewing our pledge to the LF program. The lessons we've learned from this partnership have the potential to make other disease elimination programs even stronger. GSK has brought together global health leaders for a summit at the Carter Center as we stand at the cusp of major breakthroughs in the elimination and eradication of a number of tropical diseases, notably LF, Guinea worm and polio. We are also getting closer to having the tools necessary to rid the world of malaria. By working together, we can continue to make a real impact on the lives of millions of people around the world enabling them to do more, feel better, and live longer.
Member of Parliament, Tim Collins, has recently formed an all-party committee to lobby the government on the subject of arachnoiditis. I think it is true that we've got some very powerful groups who have had an interest, if you like, in hoping that this issue would go away. That's included big pharmaceutical companies, it's involved senior people in the medical profession, and it's involved successive governments. If we're going to get an end to this process of buck passing and everybody trying to point the finger at somebody else, we actually have to have an independent inquiry which can look through all the papers over many decades, establish exactly who did make mistakes and apportion liability accordingly. The other advantage of taking an all-party approach to this is that hopefully we can actually say to the government of the day, whoever they are, look, don't think that you are actually going to get a huge amount of criticism for taking a decision to set this up and don't think for that matter any one of the political political parties is going to lose out because we're all equally guilty but hopefully equally we can put ourselves together and actually re-establish public confidence in the process. What I'd also say to the medical profession and to the pharmaceutical companies is that there is no longer any possibility of pretending to people that this problem didn't occur. There's no way this can be swept under the carpet. People have got to accept their responsibilities. Maybe the people who took the decisions are long since retired or in some cases dead, but the medical profession is still around, those pharmaceutical companies are still around. And I actually think they would do their own public image a huge amount of good if they came forward, stuck their hands up and said, yes, there was a problem and now we're interested in self-sorting it out.